submarine Pochyamkin disappeared without trace? It was a catastrophe, Comrade Chiam. Yes, of course, I'll assign our best agent immediately. Rovovich, where is Agent Triple X? On leave, General, at the People's Rest and Recuperation Center. Send in Agent Triple X. You sent for me, Comrade General. Good morning. Major Amasova, we are facing a most delicate situation. Our nuclear submarine, Potyamkin, has disappeared. Sabotage? Well, it is for you to find out. We have one lead. A connection in Cairo. You leave tonight. Will that be all, Comrade General? There is one more thing. I regret to inform you, Major, that Agent Sergei Barzov has been killed. On a mission at Berngarten in the Austrian Alps. Tragic occurrence, Comrade General. It had not escaped our notice that you and Agent Brazov had been more than friends for some time. I'm very sorry. How did he die? We haven't all the details yet, but it appears he became involved in a British secret service operation. Please keep me informed, Comrade General. I should very much like to meet whoever was responsible for his death. <laughs> James, we've been expecting you. Good morning, sir. There's been a change of plan. Uh, you probably recognize my opposite number in the KGB, General Gogol. And I believe you're familiar with Major Amazova. Enough to know which brand of cigarette she smokes. Our respective governments have agreed to pool their resources to find out what happened to our submarines. We have entered a new era of Anglo-Soviet cooperation. And as a sign of Russian good faith, I'm prepared to make available to you the microfilm recovered by Agent Triple X. With considerable ease, I might add. Don't bother with it, Lou. It's useless. I examined it on the boat. I assure you it is quite genuine. Except that the vital technical information has been taken out. This was only intended to whet our appetites. Maybe Q can make something out of it. Oratory. What is that? It's another word for chapel. Looks a bit like a bishop's mitre. It is a fish. That is the symbol of the Stromberg shipping line. So it's not oratory, it's laboratory. Stromberg has a marine research laboratory on Corsica, I believe. Well done, James. Actually, sir, it is in Sardinia. <laughs> That's brilliant. I'm certain that two such perceptive talents will enjoy working together in Sardinia, and that it will help to make Anglo-Soviet cooperation a reality. Doesn't look good at all. It's over 200 meters in diameter. Yes. Yes. Will you please listen, General Gogol? We didn't put it up there. Neither did we, Colonel Scott. So, what are you suggesting? We've taken action already. We're sending up a vehicle to intercept. Very well. But if we don't hear from you in the next 12 hours, we take action ourselves and hold you responsible for the consequences. We'll be in touch, General. Sorry to have woken you. Oh, I was already awake. How can I sleep? Nothing but problems. 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 Yes, Comrade Secretary, of Albania, please. 
a suspected British spy ship which we have been monitoring. It suggests that there is a chance of obtaining the ATAC transmitter. Oh, no, of course, comrade. There will be no direct involvement, but if it comes on the market, we should not lose such a remarkable opportunity. <laughs> With that in mind, I've already contacted our usual friend in Greece. That's Dayton, comrade. You don't have it. I don't have it. Subject on the agenda is the continuing mutual disarmament talks with NATO. I assume you've all read the General Gogol's report. It seems uh, very thorough. Thank you, Comrade Chairman. I believe I express the opinion of everyone present that adoption of NATO proposals does not compromise our defensive position. Uh, uh, comrade Chairman. General Orloff. Uh, General Gogol is presumptuous. He speaks for himself and others who cling to timid, outdated, and unrealistic policies. In East Germany, under my direct command, I have 31 divisions, including 11 tank divisions and another five in Czechoslovakia. We have played out a variety of attack strategies on the new Kultsov computer and find that a lightning thrust by 10 armored divisions from the north and by five more through Czechoslovakia lead to total victory in five days against any possible defense scenario. This is absolute madness. We know where it will end. NATO will counterattack with nuclear weapons. Never! The West is decadent and divided. It has no stomach to risk our atomic reprisals. I see no reason to risk war to satisfy your personal paranoia and thirst for conquest. We must turn our energies to pressing domestic problems. General Gogo, let me remind Come you. Comrades, sit down. I wish to Both tell you. Of you. World socialism will be achieved peaceably. Our military role is strictly defensive. Duh. Is that understood, General Olaf? Of course, you know Comrade Porcho is the curator of the Hermitage. He just arrived from Leningrad. Oh, the of style. The license plate is General Olaf's. We have discovered this. 
Where is General Orlov now? He was last reported heading towards the border. to the uniform? Yes. But tomorrow, I shall be a hero of the Soviet Union. My government categorically denies the incident ever occurred. However, we request Commander Bond to return one of our most historic national treasures, the Romanov Star. In the interests of our Anglo-Soviet relationships, I'm sure that can be arranged. Uh, where is Commander Bond? Well, unfortunately, owing to the serious nature of his injuries, he's still not fit enough to travel. Comrade Zodi. General Gogol, this meeting is ill-advised. A calculated risk, but necessary since you refuse to answer your control. Come to the point, General. You disregard procedure. You did not request approval before eliminating 007. Reprisals might jeopardize ongoing operations. You jeopardize mine! Letting the British penetrate the Siberian Research Center. That was regrettable. Your racing activities attract unnecessary attention, but more disturbing are your unauthorized commercial ventures, and we cannot tolerate that. The issue is irrelevant. I've made new associations. I no longer consider myself a KGB agent. We trained you, financed you. <laughs> what would you be without us? A biological experiment? <laughs> a physiological freak? Enough of this! Control yourselves! You will come back to us, comrade. No one ever leaves the KGB. The Order of Lenin for Comrade Bond. The first time ever awarded to a non-Soviet citizen. I would have expected the KGB to celebrate if Silicon Valley had been destroyed. Mm. On the contrary, Admiral. <laughs> Where would Russian research be without it? <laughs> <laughs> Is Commander Bond here? I'd like to thank him personally. Can you tell me if you Will you excuse me? General Gogol, Miss Karamelo. Magnificent. I hope you can find time to play in Moscow very soon. It's quite all right. General Gogol is now with their foreign service. He's arranged an immigration visa. So you can come and go as you like. <laughs> Wonderful. Excuse me. You're all right. I'm sorry we missed the concert. We had some trouble at the airport. I can't imagine why. Uh, General Gogol, I don't believe you've met Kamran Shah. My pleasure. Where's James? Unhappily, he's on assignment abroad. I'll be with you shortly. Are you 